It is time to clear your auric field and protect it. Purify and restore your energy. You are a gift to this world. Beautiful things take time to grow. There's no need to rush. Allow yourself to grow at your own pace, in your own space. As you unravel, as you unfold, right? This ego death too, right? Ego can never really die. It can only be made conscious so that it no longer runs your life. Be mindful of it and don't allow it to limit you, right? Because you're a hidden treasure. The treasure you are looking for is hidden in the ground you're standing on. It is time to dig deeper, deepest, right? Conflict resolution, right? Your energy, for your energy management solutions. Differences are bound to create conflict, but no matter how intractable, all conflicts are capable of peaceful resolution through compromise, right? Especially if you are married, or if you are in a partnership, a divine counterpart partnership, right? Just love. Hmm. Right? You are a rare gem. You are a rare breed. Don't waste your energy trying to convince anyone of it. They're not supposed to understand you. And you might be dealing with energies that try to shade you or not give you your 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 props right <laughs> not give you your your right but you don't need their validation go check out my irrelevant is them video for insight into that type of energy energy management solution that you are to embody if you're not already embodying it and making the irrelevant energies that don't cherish and don't treasure or respect you or acknowledge you as they should. The same way you would acknowledge their beautiful soul if they were open to that type of activation, evolution, but they want to be your competition or they want to be your your enemy and stuff, but they're their own sworn enemy to themselves you know what i mean like you're seeing it for what it is and you're not being fooled by the optical illusion that is trying to that is trying to create okay so don't let anybody else cheapen your value, your value meal, your worth, your your energy brand. Your energy is a brand. Right? So because look, you are enough. Right? Sorry for the focus on here guys. I'm not sure why. Um there's nothing to be fixed. Your authentic self is complete and whole. Don't ever doubt who you are. Right? And that's just how it be look at because over here to celebrate. Stop finding holes in your success or a reason to undermine it. You deserve to celebrate yourself and your accomplishments. Right? I think that's beautiful. Right? And granted, so you might be dealing with, like, the evil eye, right? So, tiger's eye. Mmm, I love this crystal. Tiger's eye helps with grounding, protection, self-confidence, inner strength, willpower, clarity, and evil eye. Tiger's eye. So get you some tiger's eye. And definitely um, tap in, turn on, tune in to my other videos, my longer videos that we go through crystallization, activations, and learning different crystals together. So definitely subscribe to my channel um, as well as tapping in, turning on, tuning in to the crystallization activations that happen here on this channel, right? So what other evil eye advice do we have? For those tapped in, turned on, tuned in, or insights, right? Blackmail, digging up dirt on you to use later. So you may have people, like, talk a shit. Like, even, like, in regards to, like, 
your past or something like that like or just in general like looking for stuff like that comes up right so what else right okay, so annoying block spam phone calls random texts from unknown numbers right so you could be do experiencing stuff like that too right where it's like people just don't they're relentless right especially if they got nothing going on for themselves in their lives of course they can make time to to find the time to create accounts to 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 do all this extra um to do all this extra um nonsense of like especially if you have an online presence and stuff like that or maybe too like this too how i hear this as well it's like um it's like it's just like an energy of lack there of support and stuff like that but like taunting and 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 like um because people are so a person could not be happy in their own life and what's going on and stuff like that that they want to like um they find entertainment in in and annoying yours or something like that right because that's what i like here so it's like making multiple fake accounts following you through those multiple fake accounts like trying to get in um commenting even from some of those like fake account kind of stuff or whatever or like trying to reset your password on your instagram to like you know those kind of things i'm recording <laughs> right so that was three 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 so or just you know being annoying like we said right so annoying was the key word here um just energies that are just like the like trolls like trolls like right um yeah so like it's tiger's eye and stuff like that for what else what else right beware of anywhere from the past wanting to enter back into your life right or any energies too that previously overlooked you and kind of like not so much shaded you but kind of like didn't um see your value didn't see your worth and then now because you're shining or you're um being seen now it's like oh well, what do we have here let me see like mm -mm, that's like suck you by energy you know what i mean um the person causing your negativity is a fire sign right so all right that's leo um aries leo sag right aries leo sag um for those that are wondering right maybe you're dealing with a person that is a fire sign it could be like an old friend or an acquaintance and stuff like that that might be some have animosity towards you that um it's just evil eyeing stalking gawking hawking might be harassing you from multiple accounts and things like that too or not harassing just because they're like your biggest fan <laughs> or something they're just supporting you in their own weird twisted way you know what i mean hating on your successful life choices you know what i'm saying so yeah so you saw that i see she's so cute right so yeah they could be hating on your successful life choices maybe they didn't make the best choices for themselves and so instead of focusing on their own grass being green they're looking at your leveling up or your level up right your level up and it's just like judging your spiritual religious choices too so they might be even in like indoctrinating it into a certain kind of religious or like just judging you like you know what i'm saying like oh like you can have people that as you grow into your own spirituality like really like oh my god that's like devil stuff oh my god that's like uh that's evil oh my god that that god or goddess right there that's um deities that's this that's that and people always got shit to say about stuff but they don't even know the history of where their shit comes from you know what i'm saying black tourmaline to help clear and repel any of that kind of negative energy coming from any motherfucking body right so you can clear energy from the body home and work environment and assist the user in feeling more grounded and peaceful so that when shit like this is going down and people like that want to come in and try to make you frown mm -mm, you get flipped outside like you're gonna go outside with that shit you're gonna go to your own house with that stuff you know what i'm saying causing family friends to be mean and cold towards you so there may be and like people talking shit 
right behind your back or spreading false lies and all this kind of stuff like you shouldn't really trust that person or something like that too right like but anyways i don't like to get into this kind of energy field but look i, I did it neighborhood drama one or some of your neighbors really don't like you fake smile small talk so you might have even people in your your neighborhood that um like what does he or she do um their life looks interesting um how come they get to sleep in or how come they're always working from home or you know how come i have to slave away or you know things like that so people might be you know nosy buddies over there right causing you to lose your appetite <laughs> so two and i think this is important to know right i always say don't like i i can lose my appetite real quick like that's i'm not a emotional eater i'm emotional like it, it like i um i uh i lose my appetite i don't eat if i'm upset i think that's a good thing right but don't let people upset you anyways i want to get out of this energy field and stuff like that Oops, so hold on. All right, I was shuffling these off camera, but I'm gonna just pull them randomly on here just because I'm holding <laughs> my phone. I know I didn't set it up. I could do it all. You guys, I, I have to go. So this is supposed to be a quick one, and it's turning out to be a little bit longer than I anticipated. So whatever. Either way, emerald, healing, fertility, right? Eternity, reflection, humility, sexuality, rare. You are rare. Didn't that come up in the other one, right? You could also be um, Aries, Taurus. I know that I'm seeing the Taurus, but I was thinking Aries as well. So, um, too, right? And I'm thinking Gemini as well, too. I don't know why. You could be life path number one, right? But um, free-flowing love, growing your, your relationship strong, right? This is this is time for soul restoration, um, right? As you are reflecting upon that, which is your eternal which is which is healing for you right now right so even emerald that's a great gem to have right the color and 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 also the heart chakra activations too this is a very fertile time in your your business your your relationships and even in childbearing like you know what i mean um stuff like that so for those right so you could have been born in 1991. You could be 19 years old. You could be an Aries. Didn't I say that? I said Aries Taurus. I'm feeling that energy up in here, right? You could be life path number nine, right? So you could also be defensive about something, protecting, right? And, and also just like, it's not even, it's just like standing your ground, right? Because warding off these unwanted energies, right? Um, knowing that you have to be on guard. And, it, and it's, it's sad that you have to be that way. And I know that that sucks, right? I know that from a personal, my personal experience is like, I want people to like me i want people to get off their fucking whatever um um whatever bug curled up their ass and like to freaking just heal the nonsense of whatever's happening with them because they're really like shitting on good fucking people like people that that you could have a good time with that you could be friends with that you could actually fucking trust you know what i'm saying and so and it, and it sucks that you gotta be sorry we got interrupted with a phone call so yeah, so um, it really sucks. It sucks that you have to be this way. Especially, you could be dealing with Aries, Taurus people. You could have that in your chart or something like that too. Let's see one more because I really have to go. Um, competent, superior, precise, expert, right? Sharp tongue. Could be life path number three as well. And you can be Capricorn as well or have Capricorn somewhere in your chart. I don't know why this is doing this. <laughs> this thing, right? So yeah, so you're you're getting more skilled in your levelings of expertise. You could be getting higher education. You could be um teaching. You could be we're always a student i'm always going to believe that we're always a forever student of life especially if we are teachers in any kind of degree or capacity and stuff like that so um so yeah so 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 it's like Dan, uh, what the <laughs> that's what it's crazy okay anyways um but yeah like defenses are up right being real like so i, I just feel like like you're standing up for yourself, right? So it was crazy, right? So I'm gonna tell you a quick little story. So I, I I was I was driving and I was looking for a parking because I had to run into the UPS because I was doing a return. And so um I so this car was pulling out all the whole entire street was um the whole entire street was 
um, no parking available. And so it so happened that when I was approaching, this guy was getting out of the car. I mean, was was getting out of a parking spot. So I'm like, great, perfect. So I signal that I'm gonna go in and I'm waiting for him to get out. But then I see, I also see, right, uh, above that a car all of a sudden starts reversing, like they're gonna take the freaking parking spot. Now, typically I'm gonna avoid, right, you could be 31 years old, 39 years old, 1993, 1991, right? Um, okay, yeah, anyway, right. So, um, typically, you know what, I, I don't need to, I, I'm not going to get into a street brawl and all this kind of stuff, like, it's, I'm not going to even be upset and all this kind of stuff, but I, the, the example I'm just giving, because it's interesting, right, so then I'm like, you know what, fuck this shit, so when the car wants to go out and the person wants to go park in it, I cut it off, and I took the fucking parking spot, because I'm like, how dare you, you're going to reverse, like, that's just rude, that's just rude and and it's not happening here and i don't care so i was prepared to stand my ground not be argumentative or fighting and all this kind of stuff and i didn't even get so like worked up or upset i wasn't emotionally reactive i was just like nah fuck that you are not going to do that you are not going to do that so then i took the parking spot so then the car is reversing and i don't know if it's a man or woman i don't know any of this kind of stuff and my daughter's in the car she's like oh my god <laughs> like you know like and i'm like i don't care like nah that was rude so then they come to window to window and I lower my window and they lower it. It's a woman. And she's like, I was there and I was going to take the parking. So she was ahead of me and stuff like that. So because there was another car in between us, we both didn't see that we both went for the parking spot at the same time. So immediately, just like because I read her energy and I read who she was and I wasn't trying to be combative or argument. I said, you know, and I, and, and I guess we were both a little not hostile in our voice but we got worked up a little bit and i was like i because i saw immediately that we were both none of us were in the wrong we just didn't see each other like kind of kind of thing and we both thought we were being like rude to one another and stuff like that and then she saw it for what it was from her space after and i was like i'm really sorry i thought you were being rude and i didn't realize that you too but the only thing with her is that she never signaled you know so i didn't i, I wouldn't have known that that's what she was gonna do anyways so i was like you, you can have it like and she's like no it's okay so then after when she drove away my daughter was like um she was like um well that was why she didn't want to take it like why she didn't i was like because she's a good person but she too was standing up for herself and and, and and I got emotional right now when I'm explaining this because that's where a lot of us are, right? We're in this position of, we're not trying to be combative, but we're not going to be walked on either. So we both were like similar in that energy where it was just, we were talking it out. We were very respectful with each other and we did get worked up just a little bit. But we when we saw that neither one of us had really realized that the other one had did the same thing it, it, it wasn't a fight anymore it wasn't a fight it was just we were both prepared to stand up for ourselves and i feel like that's where if you're tapping turned on tuned in with me in this message right now that's where you are it's not that you're being combative it's that you're not going to be walked on either and that's all i have for you guys right now so love you goodbye Till next time, make sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe.